Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer 2. So, let's continue where we left off. And our next target is going to be the Golden Tower. But there's not much else we can do on this turn. We can repair the settlement. And I think that's about it. And we can upgrade the spawn poles. Which will unlock skirmishers. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's do that. Unlock skirmishers. Can we still move our army? Nope. Alright, that's it then. We'll need a few turns to get to the Golden Tower. But that gives us a chance to recruit some more units. Some skirmishers wouldn't hurt. Mission successful. 500. Nice. And we finished our research. What can we get next? Plus 10% weapon strength for Soros units. Yep, sounds good to me. Carry on. And let's move on. And maybe recruit something. What do we need the most? Maybe some more warriors. We don't have that many. We only have two units of warriors right now. Okay, Soros Warriors. And then we'll get skirmishers. Once we finish the upgrade. Anything else? Rank gained. Oh yeah, skill point. That's for our priest. Let's have a look. We could get wound. Additional 4% chance of wounding the target. And then use him on enemy armies. Not a terrible idea. Magic item drop chance is increased by an additional 5%. Okay. Increases the parent army's chance of finding a magic item after winning a battle. I like that one. Let's get that one. And that's pretty much it, I guess. No, I don't want to detach him. We'll need like three turns. To get to the Golden Tower. And we still have what seems to be a Skaven settlement to the west Consider over here. Your tactics when I'm pretty the sure that's a Skaven enemy, settlement. Lord. Placing an ambush or setting a defensive camp may bring about victory. All right. We're a straight in game. Carry on then. Fail. 14 out of 20. Cosmos. Let's move on. And we could use some skirmishers now. Let's have a look. Yep, skiing skirmishers. Let's get a few of those. And that will be 18 out of 20. Should be enough, hopefully. Anything else we can upgrade? Yes, the main settlement. Okay then, what do we need to upgrade? The provincial capital. Let's have a look. We need two population surplus. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the Holy Ziggurat. We actually have a mission to build that. There it is. So we need more population, basically. Okay. We could speed that up a little bit. Plus 20 growth. Plus 2% casualty replenishment rate. That would actually be useful. And unlocks technologies. Tablet of spawning. Let's go for it. And we can check technologies real quick. Tablet of spawning. There it is. Okay. And oh yeah, we can upgrade the provincial building. All right. What's going on? Non-aggression pact with some lizard men. Yeah, sure, accept. We don't want to fight other lizard men. Mission issued. At the start of the turn, have at least 350 ancient plaques. Yeah, we are nowhere close to 350, but all right. If you say so. 
vigil on expenditure must be maintained for your domain to prosper. Be money, sure to yes, I'm aware that we need money. But thanks for valuable insight. So there's the foraging camp. Can't upgrade it just yet. Now we mostly need to wait for more population. And we'll upgrade the barracks first, most likely. Oh yeah, this will unlock Croxy Gorts. Okay, nice. Definitely want more of those. Next. Now, we could perform a right before attacking the Golden Tower. That will cost us 2000. What's going on? Yes, Caven. That's their city. We can check it out next. Major enemy cities will be fortified, sire. The capture of yeah, I figured as much. Will likely mean a long siege. Yeah, that seems to be their main city. Which probably means we'll have to attack it sooner or later. Probably sooner rather than later. Such an action would oh yeah, right. We'll have to declare war first. As glorious as that Who is this exactly? Only if you Diplomacy. Conflict, my lord. Let's have a look. Who is this? I can't click the golden tower, really? Well, alright. That's the green guy. Do I really have to find that on the list? That's a little bit silly. Well, if you say so. You called. This seems to be his main city, but I can't actually click on it. Which is a little bit strange. Well, let's just declare war. This is our main goal right now. Oh, it's a neutral minor settlement. It's not part of an actual faction. Right. Let's wait one turn because we're out of movement. It won't stay neutral much longer. <laughs> I'll put it this way. Can be useful in such uncertain times, sire. The populace of one of your settlements is gradually vanishing. On certain nights, whole ghettos or districts are left abandoned. The only clue for the remaining denizens is a triangular symbol dubbed on a nearby gate or wall. Negative growth, minus 10. That's not nice. Only for three turns, fortunately. But still annoying. Alright. We can build something. Let's have a look. What do we go for? Public order, plus four. Unlocks technologies, tablet of war. How's our public order anyway? It's not amazing. We'll probably need more. We can also improve our growth by upgrading the farm. Let's upgrade the farm first. And we can perform the right. This will cost us 2000. And it will last 5 turns. Might not be a bad idea to wait one more turn. To replenish some troops. We can also start the siege, because I assume that's what it will take. No allies have chosen to become involved in this dispute. It's not much of a dispute, really. Okay, so... Oh yeah, it's not a walled settlement. So we won't need any siege engines. Alright, this should be easy then. Gamble. What's Gamble supposed to be? Winds of magic. Nonsense. 
I don't think I want to gamble. Oh, risk magic for more favorable wins. Okay, then. I don't think we can cast any spells right now, or can we? I don't think this counts. It's a character ability. Alright, start deployment. Let's see, first of all... Melee guys in the front. So all of these, and warriors. These are all melee. Okay then. Where's the enemy exactly? Somewhere down here, I assume. Now all the ranged. We got two units of javelins and three units of skirmishers. Okay, sounds good. They will be in the front. To go and start doing some damage. Then we got the priest and our hero. We got the stegodon. And we got Croxigors. Okay, looks good. Move these guys a little bit closer, maybe. That will do. Alright, let's get started. And we'll send our ranged guys right away. Should probably just create a control group. Here. Harness its power and channel it against your enemy. Winds of Magic. Winds of Magic provide spellcasters with their swords of power. The available magic is depleted when a spell is cast, but recharges slowly over time. Can our priest actually do something? Just the heal. Alright then. Here they are. Let's send our ranged guys to harass them a little bit. And now... All the melee dudes. Without the Stegodon, we'll move him manually. Here, that will be second group. So off you go. We'll set up on the high ground, like so. So that they will have to charge uphill. Or we will be able to charge downhill. One or the other. Okay, looks good. Oh, I included the priest in that group. That's not necessarily what I wanted. And Stegodon on the side. So that it will be able to charge from the flank. And we still got Croxigorge. Same story on the flank. Looking good. Yeah, this will be a slightly one-sided engagement. As far as I can tell. Yeah. In fact, let's just charge them right away. Like so. And flank them. Alright, let's charge downhill. Sounds good to me. I think we're spread out a little bit too much, actually. <laughs> there aren't that many enemies. Where's the Stegodon? Yeah, it's too far away to actually charge into much of anything at the moment. Like I said, it's a slightly one-sided en engagement. They are already losing. Charge! You can go take care of that guy, skink cohort, and the charge from the back. That should take care of it quite nicely. And Croxigors can charge the skink cohort. Yep, they are about to get wrecked. Come on, finish them off. Leave no survivors. And we win. I guess we can stay a little bit longer to kill more. Although, they are defending the settlement, they will die one way or the other. 
We only lost 13. That's what I call a good fight. Decisive victory. Obviously. And we got some loot. Occupy. Nice. Passive ability, Warrior Bane. What exactly does that do? Let's have a look. Duration constant. Effects minus 6% weapon damage. Affects all enemies in range of 40 meters. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Carry on then. And we got plus 2000. As well as plus 13 ancient plaques. The Golden Tower is secure, mighty lord. Its misbegotten defenders Another mission. have fled into the continent. Ensure interior. that the following building Search has been constructed. Old one trove. Alright then. Make haste. For Let's the take a look. Diminishes with the passing of time. We need more population first. Or we can demolish the building. No, not really. I mean, we can. Plus 30 growth. Is there a time limit on that mission? No, there isn't. Yeah, there's no rush then. It's not a timed mission. Carry on then. So what now? We got a skill point for our priest. What else can we grab? Anything that will help with the army we're assisting? Doesn't seem like it. Let's take wound. Okay, sounds good. And another skill point on our main hero. Let's have a look. I think I'll still go with the original plan, which is get deadly onslaught eventually. It seems pretty good. So next up we can pick up weapon strength and plus 10% when fighting Skaven, because we will be fighting a huge army of Skaven at some point from the looks of it. Might as well pick that up. And where are the other settlements of this region? Here's the capital. Okay. And since we're at war with this guy, the orange guy, we might as well take his other settlement. That seems reasonable. Might as well do that. And maybe then we can check out the Skaven settlement. Oh, hold on. Well, they actually move towards us. Well, they are making a move. Change of plans, maybe. Mission successful, plus 500. The winds of magic blow across the land, my lord. Those who can harness it get... Technology researched. Plus 10% weapon strength for Soros units. What can we get next? Now we have a few choices. Plus 5 melee attack for Soros units. Plus 20% ammunition for Skink units. Minus 5% recruitment cost. Let's go for recruitment cost. Okay, and how's this army? It's not very big. Let's attack them. I don't want to risk losing the settlement. I don't think that would actually happen, but might as well attack them. Yeah, they will run away. Hey, that's fine. At least they can't attack our settlement. Not anymore. How are the cities growing? Oh, finally, we can upgrade to Holy Ziggurat. Four turns, 3200. Yep, sounds good. And that will finish one of the missions. And give us how much exactly? Where was it? This one, 1000. Okay. 
and we can still build something over here. I'm thinking public order. It will also give us... no, not this one, this one. Tablet of Monuments. What is that exactly? Let's have a look. This one. Plus 10 growth. Oh, that's nice. Then again, do we really need the same building twice in the same province? That seems a little bit excessive. What else can we get? Underground Lagoon. We don't have that, do we? No, we do not. Wait, no, we do. Sacred Spawning Caverns. Glowing Berry Patches. Recruitment cost, minus 20% for Skink and Chameleon Skink units. Okay. And medicinal plants, resource production, 20 bundles. I can't quite make up my mind. Oh, we can also wait for the Holy Ziggurat upgrade and go for one of these. That seems like a pretty good idea. We could unlock one of these. I don't think I would want to wait for level 4. But we can build a beast lair. That's probably what we'll do. Let's not use that building slot just yet. Now, the Skaven. Let's see if we can handle them. They do have more than one army over there. And I assume a garrison as well. Mission issued. Capture and occupy the following settlement. We got 14 turns to complete that. Yeah, this one. Oh, and we'll get a blessed unit. Nice. Okay, that should be the priority right now. Let's send our main army there and we can always recruit another army to defend ourselves. That seems reasonable. Let's recruit a hero. Alright, so let's recruit one of these guys. Confident, plus two leadership for all units in the army. Hero self-defense, plus 15% chance of wounding aggressors. I think I prefer this guy. Plus two leadership. That will cost us 825. And 248 in upkeep. Yeah, that seems fine. And we'll recruit some units for him. First of all, some warriors. And then some skirmishers, most likely. On the next turn. Okay, sounds good. We'll probably need him to take that Skaven settlement anyway. If they have two army and a garrison, that's going to be rough. Armies can take to the seas, should you wish it, sire. Have them build Yes, I'm aware of that, but thanks. They are coming again. No, okay, no. that's a bigger army this time. Yes. Well, if I go back to attack them again, they will just withdraw. That's exactly what's going to happen. We still got 14 turns to take that city. Or, well, 13 at this point. That is enough time. We just need to recruit more defenses. So, a round of skirmishers this time. That leaves us with 149. Combined with the garrison, that's probably going to be enough to defend ourselves. I think it's going to be enough. We got another skill point. What is that going to be? 
Let's grab Harmonic Convergence. That seems pretty good. Alright. Oh, they are actually attacking. Underway... Wait, what? No, I don't want to intercept them, thanks. Decline. No, not interested in doing that. Seems there's... Seems there's a lot going on Your right now. Is running dry, my lord. Soon you will be out of yes, I noticed Troops may be that we need more gold. Between armies in the field, if necessary. Well then, have your forces rendezvous. Looks we like we have a new problem to deal with then right now. Continue. Let's go and deal with it then. That's a lot of dudes. So which army do we attack first? Probably the one on the right because I wouldn't want it to run away in the other direction. And then we'll end up chasing it and moving away from our settlement. Yeah. Move our second guy a bit closer. To use him as reinforcements. And move in with our main army. Which should win this. Oh. It's a slightly one-sided engagement. Let's actually go for auto resolve. It's going to be a pretty boring fight otherwise. And we'll eat them. Or we can go for experience. We don't really need to replenish right now. Let's go for experience. Sacrifice. Enemy killed in battle. Follower gained. Chance of spotting nearby foreign armies, plus 25%. Okay. And armor gained. Let's have a look. I think we only have one choice in each slot right now. Yep. Okay, carry on then. Weapon gained for our other guy. So now the other Skaven army. I think we should try to take care of that Skaven settlement before we go too far away from this area. Otherwise, it's going to be a major problem. And skill point. What's this again? Wait, what? Interesting. One more skill point and we'll get deadly on slot. He's attacking us now. Okay, this will be a much bigger fight. Well, let's see how it goes. Assuming we'll beat both these armies without too many casualties, we should be able to attack their main settlement after. Okay, so we'll obviously need to wait for reinforcements. We can't allow them to charge us like this. And the reinforcements are usually not close. So... Let's just back up. We'll set up back here. That seems reasonable. Alright. So where are the reinforcements? Give me reinforcements. Allied reinforcements there, they are, are coming. In support, Commander. Link up with them and now we the need enemy. to set up properly. What kinds of units do they have? Same as usual. Clan rats, scaven slaves, some slingers. Okay, let's pause for a moment. We can send our own skirmishers to attack their slingers. Or javelins. Okay, off you go then. Of 
and wait for our other troops. It's not going to happen without them, clearly. They aren't actually moving with their main army, just with slingers. Okay. Interesting. I don't mind. Warriors, warriors, I'm waiting for more ranged units. Skirmishers, right here. Go attack right away. Go, go, go. I assume we'll be doing more damage. Now they are moving with their main army. Okay, we need to move or set up in proper positions now. Let's grab all our melee units here. So these guys... That's all we got right now. Still waiting for more. I hope they will have enough time to actually set up in a proper line. Okay, that will be group one. Here's our hero. I think we'll have enough time. They are charging, and there are a lot of them. Question is, can we win? Because they will almost certainly flank us. That's going to be a little bit hard to avoid. Let's see which flank is going to have bigger problems. The left one, from the looks of it. At least I think. Night runners. Let's attack the night runners with skirmishers. And at least try to attack from the flank. Alright, let's see what we can do. Now what about our hero? He needs to go and do something. Oh, here's the hero, Warlord. If we could kill that guy, that would be great. I'm not entirely sure if we can, however. I'm not sure why he's actually charging us. That seems slightly counterproductive, but... Whatever floats his boat, I suppose. Okay, these are ranged guys, so we can afford to attack from the flank. Let's just do exactly that. Alright, charge. Looking good. These guys all have a target. It won't get much better than this. It will have to do. Unless we get more reinforcements. Can we kill their warlord? He is going down. Killing him will definitely help a lot. No idea why he decided to charge us, but whatever. Maybe he had a death wish. Losing currently. Alright. We can help them a little bit. Kill the warlord, come on. Can't be that hard to do, can it? Maybe send the javelins elsewhere. Attack slightly from the side. Through here, perhaps. And we can try to charge their ranged units. At least force them to run away. Like this. Yep, we got them in melee. Nice. And then attack from the flank. They got 2400 troops. That's a lot of troops. But it's Skaven, they always have a lot of troops. At least their warlord is running away. I'm still not sure why he decided to charge us. Let's try to move these javelin guys around a bit. Maybe attack them from the back. Or we can attack their slingers. To force them to move away or just kill them, you know? Whatever works. 
used up all the ammunition. This guy used up all the ammunition. Okay, we can charge from the side. Or from the back. Something like this would work quite nicely. That's not where you were supposed to be. Okay, never mind. Oh, they are coming back. Clonrat Spears. With shields. I think we're winning, sort of. But they still have 2200 troops. That's a lot of troops, no matter how you look at it. If only we had a few more units, it would be easier to flank them. Try to force these slingers to move back a bit. Just chase them away with our warriors. That should work. To some extent, at least. We're doing fine on the flank. They are running away. They are down to 2000. We are going to win, I think. But we definitely lost at least 100, 200 troops. Possibly more than that. Definitely more than that. Looks like they are coming back. The clan rats are coming back. I don't think so, buddy. Our warriors need a little bit of help. Can we win this already? <laughs> How are the odds? They are down to 1600 now. Yeah, I mean, they are obviously losing, but... Our troops are getting really tired now. Oh yeah, they are out of control. That's why they are glowing. We can't give them orders. I think we pretty much got this. Yep, we got this. Let's see how bad it was. We lost 107. Well, 200, because 100 in one army and 100 in other army. That's not too bad. And we killed 1200 Skaven. Might be a good idea to go after their main settlement now. And then we can complete our mission after that. Decisive victory. What do we do with them? Probably eat them to replenish our army. Although... We could go for experience. I think I'd rather replenish, especially if we're going to attack their main settlement soon. Which I think we should. I assume they still have a lot left. Reward, plus 1000. Nice. Oh yeah, we finished the Holy Ziggurat. The weakening of the vortex has wrought devastation across the magic. Quest of the successful, world, research technology, the of the old and another quest resort, successful. If it is ever to be restored. Quest issued: kill 500 enemies in battle. Oh sure, now we get that quest. One turn after we kill, like 1,000 Skaven or something. All right, whatever. So, what's next? Unit experience, plus 2 for skin unit recruits. Ammunition, plus 20%. Plus 5 melee attack. Let's go for melee attack. Here. Now, let's check our cities. What can we upgrade? Can't build that just yet. 
Okay then. What can we build? We can upgrade the monument. Get more public order. Public order seems to be okay at the moment. Still can't build those. Oh, we actually don't have enough money. And also we are losing money. So how about we work on that a little bit? We need money. So let's see. What can we do to fix that? It's King Favelas. Income generated 180. Not amazing, but it would do. I suppose we should go for that. If we need money, that's the only real option. Fine. Good enough. What else? Some upgrades? We don't need public order all that much at the moment. We can unlock some units still. Teradon Hatchery. Unlocks recruitment of Teradon Riders. Okay. Flying Missile Cavalry. That sounds pretty damn good. Cold One Spear Riders. Oh yeah, hold on. Doesn't our lord have some bonus for Cold One recruitment? Where is he? Our main guy. I thought he had something. Trades. Yeah, upkeep. Minus 50% for Soros and Cold One units. So that seems like a pretty good option right now. Let's have a look again. Cold One Caves. Spear Cavalry and Cavalry. Oh yeah, so it's basically Cavalry. Alright, let's go for it. Now, we will be cutting it a little bit close with money, but it should be fine. And we got a promotion on our other guy. Let's have a look. We got one skill point to spend. What do we want to spend it for? Charge bonus, weapon strength. Characters or leadership effect plus five. Yeah, let's increase his leadership effect. However, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.